Starting point is, of course, the Olympics. Pyeongchang and the sub host city of Gangneung are charged up with the enthusiasm and intensity of athletes the world over. Even though it's tomorrow when the curtain rises with the opening ceremony for this century's first Olympics in Korea, the qualifiers for a number of events have already begun. To get into the thick of the action, we connect to our Lee Ji Won at the Gangneung Curling Center. Ji Won, do fill us in on the early bird competitions that are already heating up. Hi, Daniel. The first actual competition at the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics started this morning with four round robin preliminaries of the mixed doubles curling. Uh, and over the next four days, eight countries will compete to qualify for the medal round. And the second rounds of the preliminaries just started at, just started at 8 p.m. South Korea is taking on China, and we'll find out the results shortly around 9.30. Uh, and as for the morning game, Team Korea grabbed its first win against Finland, along with the U.S., Norway, and Switzerland. But mixed doubles in curling is new at the Olympics this year, so we're still unsure who's likely to be standing on the medal podium in the coming days. There's also ski jumping starting in about an hour and a half. Qualification for the men's individual normal hill will be held at the Alpensia Ski Jumping Center in Pyeongchang. Well, Joanne, it's good to see you bundled up right now. We've been experiencing a bone chilling cold snap in recent days. The mercury must have dipped even further down in the mountains, but uh, the venues are heating up with excitement, as we mentioned. Plus, we do have some welcome news for spectators of outdoor events, right? Daniel, it was freezing cold earlier this week, and it's still quite cold now that the sun is down. But starting yesterday, the temperature has improved a lot, thankfully. And uh, despite today being a weekday, a lot of people came to watch the games and cheer for their team. Now, uh, I was able to talk to some of the spectators. Let's have a look. Curling isn't a game you see often, so I thought it'd be a great chance to watch it in person. Also, it's the first event of the long-awaited Pyeongchang Olympics. Watching it was thrilling, and it made me feel that the Olympics have really started. It was really cool to watch the athletes compete. We were really happy that we won the first match. I don't know much about curling, but it was really intense, and the atmosphere was really great, so I had a lot of fun. The Olympic buzz is felt not just here in the Gangneung Curling Center, but in the Pyeongchang and Gangneung Olympic villages as well, as the last rounds of team welcome ceremonies for athletes were held, including those for North Korea, Greece, and Sweden. The Olympic torch relay also pumped up the atmosphere as it lit up its second last destination, Gangneung, today. The torch was taken around different parts of the city and its major tourist attractions before it's finally brought to Pyeongchang and the Olympic Plaza for Friday's opening ceremony. That's all from me for now. Back to you, Daniel.